On Sunday, Phil and I drove 11 hours in one day to ride someplace dry and slightly warmer. I thought we were going to go down like a mountain road and some... There's no way. Here, it what? says it right here. Mega the destination cavern. destination is on your left. Louisville Mega Cavern. No way! Now the geologists in my audience will be quick to point out that my thumbnail says the word cave. While, as the name implies, the Louisville Mega Cavern is in fact a cavern. But the fact remains that below a parking lot, a supermarket, and an active highway is a 3 million square foot space which includes a 320,000 square foot bike park that stays at about 52 degrees year round. It's full of jumps, single track, and completely unsupervised nooks and crannies that may get us banned from ever going there again. Although the mega cavern has touristy stuff like zip lining and guided tours, their bike park is impressive by any standards. I guess this is the, the single track. It's vast, the lips are steep, and the builders know what they're doing. You sign a waiver and check in like at most other bike parks. And if you don't have your own equipment, there are hardtail 29ers and dirt jumpers for rent. Perfect for Kevin. Come on, do the drop test. Yeah. Just drop it from like two inches high. Just pedals, it's good. You may recognize Kevin from the single track sampler as the road biker Alex took to a downhill park. He's actually pumping the bike! Yeah, dude! I always knew that Kevin was a mountain biker trapped in a road biker's body. You can see that he hasn't quite finished his transformation. Not that it really matters. <laughs> He's got his ra racing helmet, his aero helmet. There it is. And let's see, let's just see how Kevin does here. Just murdering him. Like a gangster. <laughs> Look at him pumping through there. <laughs> He's killing it. Welcome to the dirt, Kevin. You should have been here a long time ago. Time to see how closely I can follow Phil. <laughs> I was like, this is the end. <laughs> uh, all right, so try the double. I'd like to take a moment to pat myself on the back for bringing the perfect bike to the cavern. A single speed hardtail. A lot of commenters keep saying that it's like a dirt jumper, and in many ways it is, but it's not. The wheels are bigger, the fork is longer, the frame has different geometry, and the components are 100% what you'd find on a trail bike. This means it's pretty good for everything at the cavern, including the stuff outside the jump lines. Of course, it still pumps like a hardtail should. Why is this thing not focusing? So this step up over here, Phil's gonna try and no foot a can. See how he does, he's pretty determined. There we go. Yeah! Phil has had a lot on his plate lately. So much, in fact, that he hadn't ridden in over a month. I'm stuck with that one. This road trip was like therapy for Phil. A day of healing. Healing to Phil requires a healthy dosage of sketchy lines. Phil wants to ride down there, get up some speed, and then go right into there. That wasn't not smooth. Ooh, that was a little hard. As the day wore on and people kept arriving, the air quality started to take a nosedive. Even the visibility was reduced as more and more riders stirred up the dust in the cavern. It added to the surreal feeling of riding there, but we decided to take a breath of fresh air and explore the fringes. What is happening over here? I have no idea. I mean, that looks like a berm kind of quarter or something, for sure. I present to you my favorite dirt quarter pipe ever.
I could have spent all day at the dirt quarter, but Phil was already looking for new and creative ways to heal. Coming from there really fast, bunny hopping up this, taking the backside of this berm up, and then gapping into that berm right there. Oh yeah, I'm in for that. Whoa. Oh. You solid? Here we go. Ripping it, dude. Oh. Nice and smooth. He wants to kind of like go over this stuff and make it all the way over there. I can't say that I'm up for that. It might look smooth on camera like, oh yeah, you just go up that thing and carry your momentum. It's like quite technical. Anytime I ride with Phil, there comes a moment where I stop following him. Whoa, he wants to go from the berm into this upturned launch ramp over here. You're just going to go for it? There's his tire track right there. And then he hit this thing right there and came down. And I don't know what he did over there, but Jesus, he smashed it. And with that, we had our fill of dry riding weather. It was 5 a.m. when we left my house and almost midnight by the time we got home, but it was totally worth it. The Mega Cavern was the perfect place to ride on a weekend where the trails were a wreck. The next time I go there, it'll probably be for a patron ride. But if you want to see more of the Mega Cavern, just make sure you're subscribed to Phil to see his perspective. I also left some links to other videos of the cavern, including one from the single track sampler and from Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to case the crap out of every single one of these. So where do you guys ride when the weather isn't cooperating? Let me know below. Yeah. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.